duck hunting, duck watching, wow. Yeah, Maraming Gonza Dito. We're in Centennial Park in Columbia, Maryland. Chris Flo and Monkey Bee are going to La Quacha again. Because what time of year is it, honey? Winter break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's some gonza flying over the forest. Nasa on on gonza. Yeah, my yellow, um, so not so too big, so yeah. lake is frozen, so they're all up in the air. But what you see, you heard something, right? It's Where? I do hear a woodpecker. Yeah. Oh. There's a downy woodpecker up there. You can see its head moving. It's doing some winter break bird watching. What did you say he's making, honey? Make a nest. Yeah, I'm make a nest. Maybe. They do they do drill nests into the sides of trees, just like any woodpecker anywhere in the world. Not the best view, but you can see it moving. The sun. Yeah. Very strong sun. Very yeah, we gotta get out. we gotta go to our next destination before it sets too low. So let's keep moving. On to Ba. Too busy eating to even be moving. See anything else, honey? <laughs> yeah, you can see the the canoe house over there, but it's water's frozen. <laughs> yeah, look. So the general American rule of thumb is if you can throw a big rock and it doesn't break the ice, it's safe. And you can see people have been throwing sticks. But it's definitely, look at it. Very, th very thin, right, honey? Yep. Yeah. But look, look what we got out there. So we've got some gonza in the blank patch of water. The water is frozen. Yeah, not blank. Blank's the wrong word. It's the, yeah, it's the open patch of water. Probably the geese geese huddle up there and their body heat keeps it open. So I'm looking for what's called a cackling goose. All these guns that we've been getting on the camera, they're pretty much all Canadian geese. But a few years ago, scientists determined that some Canada geese are different genetically, so they call them cackling geese. They're smaller, they have like stubbier bills, very hard to tell them apart. So I've never been able to tell them apart before, but let's try here. <laughs> See, the water is frozen. There's a bunch of smaller ones in the water. They're all nice looking birds. Very maingai, but Baganda. Oh. Hope there's no monkey dog coming to scare them off. I'm glad Sweetie's not here. <laughs> well, Sweetie were here, they all be dead. <laughs> yeah, zoom in on them. So you can kind of see the one that's swimming in the middle is shorter. But there are Canada geese that are smaller than others. Like when you come to America and you see the big gonza, the big geese outside the Walmarts and malls, those are all gi called giant Canada geese. They just live here year round and they're very um, mobuisit. But these are mostly ones that c come down from Canada for the winter. They're smaller. They live on like forested ponds up far up north. But you can see the one, the big one with its neck down, maybe trying to eat stuff under the ice. Oh, one of them sounded like a, one of them sounded like a children's like toy horn, like a squeaky doll, right? That might be a cackling. Okay, let's, might have to get out my Merlin app and check the cackling. Quick, before they fly away. So I got the Merlin app open. I'm gonna narrow between two. So I'm just gonna go to explore. And there we go, a 
cackling goose. They're rare here versus Canada, which is very, very common. So much for identifying them apart. They're all gone except for one. Oh, there's a little duck out there, though. Let's see if we can get, identify the duck at least. So that's the tiny one. That's either the male golden eye on the left or the female buffle head on the right. Yeah, I think that's a golden eye out there. Let's check the app. That's a big one and a small one. Yeah, the small one's a, a duck called a golden eye. And we'll, that's like a white cheek. Mr. Johnson is winter break. He love bird watching, duck, duck watching, mostly and ducks geese. In the winter break. But mostly the duck and geese in winter break. No birds because the and woodpeckers and sparrows and finches. But a lot yeah. of the birds are gone for the winter because the bird gone in the winter because the tree no leaves. The leaves is falling down, falling down. Look the trees. Yeah. No leaves on the trees. Maybe April. April, May, June. A lot of flower. Yeah, we'll be back for that. Well, I'm stumped with that dock. So see the sun starting to set. Classic V formation. Ready to start heading back to Chris Flow? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we'll find the cackling goose here, but that was promising. No, we just know, we know to come a bit earlier in the day because I think they all take off at sunset. Yeah. They find some place warm in the forest. Okay, let's go. Very nice sunset here. To Chris Flow, because I feel freezing. It's a little warmer today, but still a little free. We're gonna try to get another sunset. <laughs> Asian old woman's against the light, but we can still see her waving. Yeah. Yep. Turn left onto 10 Mills Road. So Brunganda. We're actually dropping down to the reservoir. I want to catch sunset too, but. Bye for now, but we will continue this sunset luck watch wondering in our next video. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing my channel. See you soon. <laughs>